Mr. Greer. I also went on a school visit today. I went to Kings Mountain Intermediate, and I was really impressed over there with the work that they're doing. Um, you know, COVID really put a hurting on us when uh, the kids wasn't able to go to school. And um, they have done a lot to catch those kids up in their math and their reading. And they continue to do that. But they seem to feel like that we're still going to have another year or so of catching up before we can get completely caught up. But I think they're doing a great job. Um, I heard something on the news the other day that kind of stuck with me, and it was by an attorney, Alan Dershowitz, and he said, when a man can be charged, convicted, and sentenced without due process of law, justice will fail. Now, I will have to say that 90-some days ago, that happened right here in this building, and I agree with Danny, it was six board members that did that. No due process of law for us. We were charged, convicted, and sentenced to 90 days. Now, that happened right here. And I've asked a couple times to see the videos from the school that they say that um, there was from the school prank. I filled out the paperwork to do the proper procedures. Still hadn't seen those videos. So I'm asking tonight publicly, I'd like to see the videos from Burns Schools from May the 18th and the 19th, just so I can get closure myself and prove to myself whether I was either right or wrong. And yeah, we do have a lot of good things going on in Cleveland County Schools. I have to agree with that. But we do have some things that we need to work on. And thank you all for coming tonight. Mr. Bridges. Mr. Taylor. Mr. Shores. Just briefly, uh, I believe if you have something to complain about, have a solution for it. And I have a complaint tonight that I don't have a solution for, that one of the ladies that spoke said, ask some expertise, but, and believe it or not, I really, it really bothers me that the amount of EC kids that we have and the lack of EC teachers. If y'all know of anybody who would be interested in going down the EC road, that is gonna be a problem for us. I don't have a solution, I'll tell you. I'm complaining and I don't have a solution. I sit on the finance and personnel and we're gonna have a problem with bus drivers. I'm gonna complain about that too. And I'll tell you, I don't have the solution. I'll listen, but I'm complaining now publicly for when it becomes a problem, I can say, I saw it coming, I see it coming. You know, there are 500 something teachers, sh teachers short in Charlotte. It's gonna eventually get here, but right now our problem is EC. So I'm complaining and I don't have a solution. I'm asking you for your help. Well, I'm gonna address it since you gentlemen continue to bring it up. So yes, there was a censure and a sanction of two board members back on May 30th. What you gentlemen don't seem to understand is nobody took your First Amendment right away from you. That's what got you in trouble, was your First Amendment right. You said what you wanted to say to the media, to the newspapers, and whatnot. But when you sign up to be part of this board and you're elected to this board, you do give up some of that right, just like a military officer running their mouth in the military. There's only so far you can take it. You guys passed yourselves off as speaking for the board without authority to do so. I didn't speak for the board. I have the floor right now. And I don't know who you're talking to about 5th and 14th. The due process is wrapped up in both of those amendments. Uh, you were not denied any of your elected rights. As an elected official, as elected member of this board, you have a right to attend meetings and vote. And you maintained that for the last 90 days. That was never denied you. We didn't, uh, were paid based on the number of meetings, uh, which include two committee meetings a month. You weren't denied pay. You were even, your pay was maintained 
The only thing you were denied was the privilege of participating in committee meetings. And uh, at graduation. And, and, and to attend graduation as a board member. So, uh, and Mr. Grigg, you mentioned asking for the videos. School security videos are not public record. You were instructed by the attorney if you wanted to see some, you could set up an appointment with Dr. Fisher. And to my knowledge, you've not done that. No, sir, you didn't. I have, the, I have the floor right now. We're not arguing. This is my time to talk. So I think I finished with that. I would